Okay, so this is Smith's Point Campground. This is, happens to be July 4th weekend, so it's packed. That's the main house. You drive through there when you come in. And this is kind of going to be the spots explained. Do not go on the beach. Don't go to the sand. That's for four-wheel drive trucks. So your spots over here, basically one and on, is over here. And uh, this is where you first come in. This will give you a view of both sides. It's a pet-friendly place. They have doggies here, as you can see. And you have a few bathrooms. You know, right here is restroom, restroom. Some of them have showers, too. So up to spot 15, then you have your restrooms and stuff. It's still going. So if you take... I forgot what this goes up to. Now, these sites over here both have power and water. Both sides. So if you get site one and on, like one all the way up to, I'll tell you the number at the end because I forgot it offhand. But these all have power and all have um, water hookup. So when you look at these sites, they're, they're roomy enough. You could fit a couple of cars here. Now, like I said, this is a jammy weekend. So you got a lot of people here. We're up to site 37 going up you could fit large campus here that was like a 40 foot fifth wheel we just passed now the second bathrooms are at site 45 and that's right here so and I believe these do all have showers in the back it has the Wi-Fi at each bathhouse pretty much has the Wi-Fi we're still going they still have power and water on these sites now, as we go forward, the sites get a little bit fancier. And it goes from power and water to power, water, and sewer. And uh, this is the playground area which got torn down. So this year they're redoing it, which is kind of sad. So there's really no playground right now for the kids to play at. Although you do have the ocean on one side, the bay on the other, and you could always bring them down to the, uh, the beach house area where they have bands, the Flight 800 Park, and you'll have a playground over there to play in. So if you're coming to Smith's Point, any of the sites are good. I mean, because you're just really going to hang out by the water. I wouldn't recommend putting your awnings out. You can get away with it some days, but if you leave and you get a lot of wind... All right, Site 77 is the third set of bathrooms. Now, after this... I believe this is where the sewer and water... Oh, no, it's after the third cut. I think the sewer and water. All right, these still have all have electric, both sides. And we're already up to site 85. So from one to... We're still going. Still going. And, oh, now we have uh, sewer. I believe this is the first site with sewer is 201. So 201, I see a sewer hook up there. So it looks like 201 is where the sewer starts. So now we have over here in this area, see the bay? It's nice. You got the bay there. Now in this area, you have sewer, water, and electric hooked up. See, they all have their sewer lines going out. Now, um, I don't even know if it's more expensive to get the sewer and water hook up. I'm not even sure. Like I said, Dog Friendly Park, there's the buffies right there. And um, now my favorite is the top. Once we go up top side. So remember, 201 starts your um, sewer and water and electric hookup. And it's both sides. So 201 all the way up. These have sewer hookup too. Right, we're still going up. Now, what I like about the top side, it's, it's very windy. Actually, that's not what I like about it. But... You have the best views. You really have some ocean views up there. So the bottom side, if you want sewer, full hookup, sewer and everything, that's going to get you from 201 on. Now, 201 to 241. This is the last one, 241. Now, that's a nice, it looks like they're working on there. Sewer. What are they doing there? Oh, wow, they're replacing this. I always did wonder what was in there. I guess there's a tank in there. His sewer line was broken. That's funny. I always did wonder what was down in there. Looks like there's a tank in there. 
Okay, so this is a big, um, a big sight. It's got, it's got that 241 has a lot of side on it. You know, a lot of, a lot of side room. Now this is top side, and this is like my favorite place because it's got the sewer water full hookup. But look at your ocean views up here. So your ocean views, and this is from site 230 on. Look at that. That's nice. You got the ocean views, and you got the bay view on that side. So even if you're on the other side, you still have the bay view. So you want the even numbers if you want the ocean view, the odd numbers if you want the bay view. All right, coming down. And like I said, this is full, both hookups. Look at that. Nice views, right? So coming through my friend Dave was just messaging me and I hope he doesn't call because if he does the video is going to stop I'm ignoring the message at the moment hopefully he doesn't call me back <laughs> there's another doggy see like I said you still have nice bay views on that side so the odd side is not as nice as the even side uh, you don't want that spot you don't want the 250 whatever that was 260, 258, you know, 256, they're blocked by trees. A little bit. But still a nice view. And that brings you all the way up to, so 270 is the highest you could go. And it ends, well, okay, the sewer water hookup ends at 279. That's the last of them. Now we come down. And it's all one way here, so don't make a mistake. I think you can go out and make a left. You can't. You got to make a right, and then you make lefts to get out. Now we're going to go down here, and this is where your tent area is. There is a few camper spots down there. Now, the tent areas do have electric, believe it or not. Uh, well, actually, they do have water. Uh, they might have electric. They have water. Some of them have electric. All right, so the tent areas are from site 92 on. 92 is the tent areas. See, now, they definitely have water. They have water at each tent spot. Some of them down there further have actual uh, hookup spots. There's your garbage pickup with the town people. And so we're still going up 104. And there's water on both sides. Tents, water. Can't go too fast in here. And the bottom side is nice too because it cuts down the wind. You know, you barely get any wind down here. That's why they made it the tent site. You can see there's the tents staying very stable, but look at those flags up there knocking all over the place. See it? And yet the tents are just sitting there barely moving. So it's good. You got that little barrier hill behind you. And over here is kind of nice because you have this little bay area. You could bring a little boat, meet people, go canoeing, kayak, and walk out there. It's very shallow. You could walk halfway across the bay over there. It's kind of nice. And um, this is still just water all the way up to 130. A couple of little horseshoe games here by site 130. There's your horseshoe games, and I'm not sure what this one is. And now over here, this is where you get RVs again. So if you want the bottom site with less wind, all right, so that's going to start at 131. 131 and up. These have power. And they have water. No sewer, just power and water. And you're on that kind of sheltered side where, you know, I don't know. There's less wind. I'm not sure if you get bugs. You get a lot of deers come down here and say hello to you. That's for sure. And then the last few sites. Now that goes from what I said, 131. And this camper site ends at 141. Now you got these three cute little sites here. 143, they're all kind of like by themselves. 143, 144, 145, you know, like that. 146, and they're kind of by themselves. And then your dump station, 
is over here. This is both sides. You dump right there. You got a little hose. And then you put your little card back in the card box. But that's the end of my Smith's Point showings. And you just leave. That's it. And don't forget the speed limit here. 25 miles an hour. So when you're going down this big road, and there are cops there, as you can see. There's one there. So I probably should put the phone down at this point. <laughs> I don't need to get a ticket with this. So 25 mile an hour limit. And we're on the way out. There's the parking lot. I'll just leave the phone steady on the dashboard. I'll let it balance there. So I'm not holding the phone anymore. All right. And that's the Smith's Point. There's your Flight 800. There's your Flight 800 parked. And if need be, you know, if the kids really want a playground, there is one down here. And they have buses that go back and forth pretty much all day for free. You can take the little shuttle, get down here, hang out at this beach where they have bands and they have food and everything. They do have food in the camper section too, but it's a little more elaborate there. But there is a campground, a little playground here if you really wanted the kids to play in a playground. You got that. And that's it. And you got the people walking across the bridge to get here. You know, I'd rather just pay. <laughs> I'd rather pay the park. Now we're on our way out. There's, there's the Troy Bridge. And that is going to be the end of my video for now. Although I said this before, I figure I might as well show you the whole thing on the way out. Show the end of the video. Get it right to the Troy Bridge. It took me uh, 12 minutes to go through that thing so far. Twelve and a half minutes. There's a jet ski out there. No boats coming, so you're not going to see the drawbridge go up. All right. That's the end of my video. By the way, 15 tons on this bridge weight limit.